This is page 106 of the homework. Uh, we were assigned one problem, which has multiple parts, and it's what we're working on now. All right. So you're given a position function where S is measured in meters and T is measured in seconds. T is time. Finding the equations can be used to find a particle rate of change at any time T. So that's instantaneous velocity. That's going to be the derivative. All right, so that's s prime of t equals v of t, and you just take the derivative. So it's negative three t squared plus fourteen t minus fourteen, and that's it. That's a. At what rate is the rate of particle movement when t equals four? So all you do is plug in that four. So v of four equals negative three times four squared plus fourteen times four minus fourteen. And I don't have my calculator. Okay, so that's what negative three times sixteen plus fifty-six minus fourteen. It's negative forty-eight, so it's eight minus fourteen is negative six. Identify the direction in which the particle is moving. <clears throat> so back to this. This is moving in a horizontal line. And if it has a negative velocity, it is moving left. Is moving left, and this is at six meters per second. All right. Find the particle's average rate of change over the time interval. So, average rate of change, you're going to look at s sub the endpoint minus s sub zero over twelve minus zero. S sub twelve means I got to plug twelve into that, and I'm going to pause the video while I get a calculator. Okay, so S of T, so I need to do this. So this is a reminder how to use the calculator to your, to your, I don't know, whatever. All right, so it's negative X cubed uh, plus seven T squared uh, minus 14 T using X here on the calculator. All right, so why am I showing you all this? Because this is a reminder of how to use a calculator. Um, some people don't know this is available. So I put it in Y1, okay? So now I'm gonna use alpha trace. So you have all these choices of Y1 through Y10. Press Y1, so that's not enough. And this recognizes functional notation. So I use parentheses and then 12. So this is not Y1 times 12, this is plug 12 into Y1. And that gives me negative 880. And then S of zero, that should be easy, right? You just plug in zero into that expression. So that's just eight over 12. So that means it's negative 880 divided by 12. And we have not 880, 888, my bad. Negative 888 divided, oops. Clear, clear. Negative 888. It's negative four, seven, and this is meters per second. When is the particle stopped? So particle is stopped when the velocity is zero. So all we do is set that equal to zero. So it's three t squared, negative three t squared plus fourteen t minus fourteen equals zero. I don't like it when the leading coefficient is negative, so I change the sign. And then it turns out that can't be factored anyway, so we have this quadratic formula. So it's the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2 times 3. All right, using the quadratic formula, put that puppy in the calculator. I'm just putting that whole thing in the calculator. So it's 14. Oops. Uh, plus, you can only do one at a time, you can't do both of them. Square root of 14 squared. I know um, that should be negative 14 squared, but what happens when you plug in a negative, or what happens when you square a negative number, right? It just becomes positive, so it doesn't really matter. Minus four times three times 14. 
all over 6, right? 2 times 3 is 6. So that gives me one answer, 3.215. 3.215. Go back and edit that. I changed a plus to a minus in there. Oops. And we got 1.4. So, particle stops. At T equals 3.215 and 1.451. At T equals 3, is the particle slowing down or speeding up? So, we need acceleration to answer that question. Um, but let's go ahead and put in our velocity first, V of 3. You just plug in 3 into that expression. So it's negative 3 times 3 squared plus 14 times 3 minus 14. All right, I'm um, using the calculator here, negative 27 plus 14 times 3 minus 14. Really? Right. That's right. I'm surprised by a one. <laughs> so three squared is nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. That's what the negative twenty-seven comes from. I didn't do that in my head. Fourteen times three, and I have a minus fourteen. So that's one. And then we have we need the acceleration. So acceleration. I'm going to actually take the derivative of velocity first. So I'm taking the derivative of that function. So that's negative six t plus fourteen, and then plug in three. So it's negative 6 times 3 plus 14. That gives us negative 4. All right. So this is positive. The velocity is positive, but the acceleration is negative. So when they're working against each other, the particle is slowing down. Particle is slowing down. At t equals 3. Oops. t equals 3. All right. That's it for page 106. Let's go on 107. Or maybe it was 107. It's a separate video.